Classic Car TV. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Haggerty Classic Car TV. We're coming to you live from the annual AACA Swap Meet and Car Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's pretty awesome. Let's check the news. It's time for news. One of the world's oldest running vehicles drew a world record price for an early motor car sold at auction. The 1884 De Dion Bouton et Trepardu Dos a Dos Steam Runabout was sold by RM Auctions at Hershey for $4.62 million, more than twice its estimated price. In other auction news, RM will auction off the Force India Formula One team's art car in London on October 26th. The car was driven by Giancarlo Fisichella in 16 of 18 F1 races during the 2008 season. Famous motorsport artist Dexter Brown painted the car, and it's signed by many famous names, including Sterling Moss, Fernando Alonso, and Jackie Stewart. Anticipated sale price, $230,000. Looking for a great gift for your favorite car guy, or maybe just for yourself? Check out the TomTom Tom Top Gear Edition, featuring the voice of Jeremy Clarkson. The unit retails for about $270 and features speed camera warnings, weather reports, and Top Gear-related points of interest, including local racetracks. This is a huge event with a ton going on, so to help us figure it all out, Jonathan Stein from Haggerty Magazine, who lives nearby, has been coming here forever, is uh, going to show us around. Let's check it out. Uh, my name is Jonathan Stein, and I'm the executive editor and associate publisher of Haggerty Magazine. And I've been coming to Hershey for a real long time. It's as much social as it is about the cars and the parts, and they're wonderful things to see. You know, there are hubcaps, there are parts for things you've never heard of. There are, you know, you get to see people you wouldn't see elsewhere. The variation of really hideous whiskers and mullets is truly amazing, but then some of the parts are. You can get fenders for a Volkswagen, or exhaust for a flathead Ford, or an entire crate engine, or tires, and Hubcaps, hubcaps, hubcaps everywhere. The whole purpose of this event, this is the AACA Regional Fall Meet. And part of that is a really big car corral. So there are literally a couple of miles of roads lined with cars for sale. There are a few things that newcomers probably want to keep in mind. Wear really comfortable shoes and dress for every eventuality. Uh, you gotta have jeans, gotta have layers because it, it can start really cold in the 30s and it can be 80 in the afternoon. Bring plenty of cash because credit cards aren't as effective here as elsewhere. And most importantly, bring a list. If you're looking for something specific, do your homework, uh, make a list of everything you want, buy a program, flip through the program and circle the vendors that you think might, might be the ones that have what you're looking for. After all these years, I can't walk 10 feet without seeing three people I know. And, uh, and it's fun and I would feel so left out if I couldn't come here. It's the center of the universe when this is happening. It is the center of the universe. So Hershey's kind of the ultimate tailgate party. This week's ride along is for another type of tailgate party. This week's ride along is in a 1953 Chevrolet pickup. In celebration of football season, it also has Green Bay Packers colors. Here to tell us about it is Jonathan Klinger from Haggerty. Tell us about the 1953. What's, uh, what's cool about this pickup? Well, this is known as the Advanced Series design from 1947 to 1955. That was Chevrolet's redesign of their pickup after World War II. And what's unique about the 1953 model year is there was a little bit of a shortage during the Korean War. So you'll see a little less bright work on these pickups. That's why you see these grill bars painted versus being, you know, shiny chrome plated. Um, as a collector vehicle, what, what makes this fun? Well, pickups have really, in the past five or ten years, have, have kind of made a transition from just kind of an old secondary utility vehicle that might haul mulch in the fall or the spring or whatever to really people purchasing them and restoring them and showing them as their fun car, or their collector vehicle. It's really a, an experience in its most basic form. There's no power steering, there's no power brakes, there's really not much for any type of sound insulation, so you hear everything. You hear the engine, you hear the, the groan of the transmission, you might hear a little bit of rear end noise. 
But to me, that's all part of the experience. You know, they weren't designed to be these quiet, cushy riding, floating type of vehicle. I mean, they were meant to haul heavy loads. Yeah. What uh, What does affordable mean uh, in terms of pickups? What What? Oh, you can easily get a nice running example that's in decent shape, a good starting project for under five thousand, a very nice one under ten thousand, and of course. There are more expensive ones out there, but... Uh, but really accessible. Very accessible. And uh, how much money could you conceivably blow on a pickup? Well, that's a good question. It's cheaper to restore a pickup than it is a car. Because if you think about it, if you look at the body, once you pull the bed off, that's half of the vehicle right there. The cabs are very uh, simple. You know, there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, wiring and, and different options you have to deal with. They're very easy to work on it. And plus, this is back when they used real thick steel. You know, so it's uh, there's a lot left to work with. Exactly. So, you know how you're watching football, and you know the guys are big, but then you actually meet one out in real life, and you realize these guys are huge. Um, it's kind of the feeling in this. I, I mean, you can just feel kind of the torque and the power, and it really should be working. Like it's a, it's a, it's a disservice not to have a bag of seed in the bed. Um, really cool really fun and uh, I love it. Get one. See ya. So that's it for this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed Hershey. We'll see you next week. Handing off to Jonathan Klinger. This is the first time I've ever had a football. <laughs> I'm going to be a bit of a